But my tactic of not really caring too much about taking damage that last fight, just not getting crucified, was a good one. So, Dallas, what you got to say for yourself? <laughs> yes, pesky humans. Would have got away with it too. But, yeah, I was going to say, clearly we're not powerful. Powerless. <laughs> Whoops. Um, wait. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do. Yeah, weakness is a strength. In bizarro world, perhaps, but no. Yeah, by teamwork and... Yeah. I was going to say, it worked, didn't it? And, yeah, you're probably right, actually. Yeah, we kind of talked about this earlier, actually, so... Hmm... The demonic essence will never die. Hmm. So be it. Yeah. Well, maybe 700 years or so, anyway. But, anywho. Ah! That tentacle beast demon. Ah, I see. So, we're going to have to deal with that, are we? <laughs> I'm going to well yeah we'll just swallow it or something I guess whatever will the goddesses do presto changeo ah perfect with the power of my harmonica I will destroy thee Reunite the two. Everything looks quite nice, I guess. Like, it seems to be settled down. For now. And the tentacles retracted back from the tower. I guess. Again, they seem to be kind of just flailing to the ground, so it looks like it. Yay! The demons are being told to go home. And... Boom! There we go, and the shrine shall rise once again. Behold its glory. Yeah, that seems okay. Reasonable, at least, I'd say, yeah. And everything lived happily ever after. If you choose to believe that, please don't play East 1 or 2. But, um... Yeah, it doesn't seem good, actually. <laughs> Chunk's falling off. Um, that could explain some of the stuff in the first episode. Like, first two games, actually. Hmm, never mind. Everything seems to be settling down a little bit. Is there going to be a bit more greenery? Like, blue skies and all that sort of good stuff? Ah, sweet, sweet sunlight. That's what I like to see. So, and with that... Ah, lovely. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new life for us. What? Well... Yeah. Um, well... Yeah, so we can't really fly back up. Ah. Right. So you have to rest up. What's that? Oh. That's not good. Right, so... Ah, deep in the mines, perhaps. Oh, a Unica. Yes, but... Oh.
Yeah, it's the only way, though. Yeah, we're gonna have to do what we can. Indeed, yeah. Yeah, they're not gonna take it overtly well. They're gonna basically blame us for everything, I think. But, not much we can do. He did, actually. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, we do kind of know what the problem is, unfortunately, but... Yeah. It wouldn't be a terrible idea. Oh. Well, yeah, but preparation would be not ridiculous. Ah, well, this is true. But yes, we're getting shiny. It's time for sleep. Let's have a lie down. Yeah, come on. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Well, yeah. So, yeah, you guys just look after that, I guess. And they turn to crystal, it looks like. Yeah. Yes, somewhat impermanently. And... Yeah. Uh, we're back at the road of tree, perhaps? I did have a spare road of fruit, actually. I guess I maybe should have looked out for the last... There must be a roo somewhere. Yeah, poor tree. When the goddesses awaken once more, then so too shall we. But until such time, I beg thee, bid me respite. Or respite. Um... Yeah, poor tree. Yeah. I'm sure we'll see you again one day. Or at least I will. As the humble narrator of the story. Kind of. Um, not so humble, necessarily, but... Yeah, so... It's going to be... I was going to say, the further it gets, the more difficult it's going to be to get there. So you want to be sharp. Yeah, it's true. Right, let's head back up then. Let's begin the magical preparations. And... Yeah, okay, I, don't, I, don't, I wasn't there when we did it, but yes, I'm sure I'll work it out. Unless... I think we're going to stay down here. Yeah. Totally serious. Yeah, exactly. So some of our families will stop down here. No, I know, but... Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, we need to start taking this on. So... Yeah, it will eventually come back down, and when everything's all good, then... We'll sort it out. It'll be, it'll be right. So, yeah. Well, yeah, but... It'll be fine, you'll live. Now I'm a headstrong old man, and yeah. Go on then. Sir, yes sir. Ah, of course. That, well, that was the plan, but yep, definitely. Well, yeah. 
Of course, yeah. I say they probably could make their way back down again if they wanted to, thinking about it, but they could have gone home and then come back. But, because they made their way down before. Although maybe did they have the power of the Black Pearl then? Perhaps. I don't know. Um, either way, I believe that this is the foundations of something great. So do we see them flying back up, perhaps? Ah, it's casting off the bits off the outside there, look. So I'm still rising up. There we go. See, it looks a lot better when it's not horribly dingy and looks like death, basically. Yeah, the tower's still there, including Vado's Annex, but... It's now empty, and the origin of the East story has been told. So yeah, um, I was hoping to try and get that finished, and eventually did get it done. Um, really enjoyed that, actually. It was, uh, like, the actual gameplay is, in my mind, excellent. Um, like, the whole battle system and the fluidity of it. Um, so I've never been a big... I think I said this on the other games. I've never been a big action RPG fan. In, historically although I'm really starting to get into them now um, like I, I thought I've always been a bit more like laid back when it comes to that sort of thing and like, like for example Final Fantasy X where you don't have to make a move at all until you want to and you've sat and weighed up the pros and cons I always felt like that was kind of one of my ideal battle systems but I don't know I like the fact that you can kind of strategize on the fly you can try and use your skills you can try other strategies like, as you go in quite easily. Obviously, totally different sort of fights. It's one versus um, one or however many, instead of like a party versus and whatnot. But no, it's really good. And the fact that there's a full on story this time, like East 1 and 2 had a story, but it was, for lack of a better phrase, sparse or of its time. Um, it's basically, Adol heads forward and just does a few bits and pieces and saves the world. Whereas um, this had like a narrative, it had the characters, it had the loss, had the revenge plot, had the backstory all fleshed out, which is what I like out of a story where you kind of, again, the way it's told, you start to unveil, like, unravel bits of it over time. Like, for example, you hear about Unica's father dying and then who's done it and then meeting him and him, like, you know, the whole um, redemption of her after that whole scene where she thinks she's at her, her end and then you get back on your feet and you make your way up and her just overcoming all the odds to do it I assume the other stories are, are reasonably similar obviously I think the, the whole idea of getting to the top of the tower and defeating Dallas is going to be the end goal I assume a lot of the major beats will also be similar be curious I imagine I'm hypothesising here. I imagine that there'll be another beat similar to Roy's death for Hugo. We never really saw a lot of him, and there was a lot of, kind of, from Unica's perspective, kind of a, a questionable, but like an a unknown past there. So, ah, so yes, yeah, tree. So, yeah. Um, but no, yes, to be continued in the games I've already played. If you're interested to watch them, um, go and watch my Let's Play of East Chronicles. Um, uh, I highly recommend it as a game. It's a totally different kettle of fish because it's about neck end of 20 years older, East 1. Um, but kind of updated a little bit. I'll just continue this. Um, and really quite a little fun game. It's about five or six hours of gameplay, I think, roughly. But yeah, so that's a clear data saved. And I can use her in time attack mode, which I haven't actually done, haven't actually looked at, but I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that sort of thing, really. Um, I'll, I'm a story guy, generally. And Toll can now be used in story mode. I half know that name. Um, so I'm just going to have a quick look there. While I'm not actually going to start the game. But... Yeah, he's the guy with the... Um, with the claws, and for experts only. Hmm. 
No, I don't think that's my sort of neck of the woods, but yeah. Slow speed, long range, fast, close range. So you've got to be up close and just kicking them butt with him, basically. Interesting to try. In fact, I've, I've said I might go back and replay the games through, because if there's a different narrative, I'm, if, if it's going to be the same game again just to just to play it almost, um, I wouldn't. But if there's going to be a different narrative, which I believe there is, I think I'm going to do that. Um, but what I'm possibly going to do is I'm going to st- I think I'm sticking with Falcon Games for this sort of sl- LP slot, and um, I've, I've actually I've forgotten now because I did ask um, when I was re-picking this up, and I believe it's Oath and Felgana comes before E6. I've got both of them downloaded and ready to go, but it will be which- whichever one it was that I had recommended to play next. Basically, I'm going to pick up after this. And in fact, it should be up within a day or two of this being published. But, yeah, I'm going to call it a night because it's, it's quite a late one for me. It's school night or that sort of thing. Well, well, work night. But, um, yeah, all in all, um, if anyone's just watching this and wondering what they think of the game, definitely I would say pick it up if you're a fan of anything vaguely action-y or, like, sort of, I guess in the sort of zelda sort of realm, but, like, sort of a 3D, I don't know, maybe not. That's the, that's the sort of game which I always kind of associate with this genre. But I never actually got for my sins, never really played any of the Zeldas. I played a little bit of Link to the Past at someone's house when I was a kid, but not enough to really invest in it um, properly. But yeah, if the, if you think that this sort of game will appeal to you, I am pretty sure it will because it's really fun. Um, and with that re- like recommendation, I'm going to sign off and I'll be back for the next day or two with the first episode of the next game, which I believe is, is Oath and Felgana, but without going to double-check, I can't be sure. If it's E6, then it's E6. Um, but, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series. And until the next one, take care of yourself, and have a good day. Goodbye. <laughs>